Hello there everyone, Stormy Strike here, and in this video I am going to be going over the placings for the Autumn Show Among Friends 2017 show that I went to. Now this Model Horse Show I went to was actually all the way back in the beginning of September. I meant to do a placings video right away, but then I just got crazy busy with schoolwork and stuff, and I never got the chance. So I'm sorry this is so late, but I promised you guys I'd do this video, and so it is finally here now. So how I'm going to do this video is I'm actually just going to kind of go through the pictures that I took at the show. Now since this was a few months ago now, I will probably not remember everything, but I will do my best for you guys. And I will also try and not ramble on too much about each model because I don't want this video to be crazy long. So let's just get to it then. So the first picture here is of some Peter Stone Arabians. Now I also want to mention real quickly is any models you see that are Peter Stones or Minis, none of those models are mine because I only showed OF Briar. I also did the fun classes which I'll talk about as we get to those. So any like Peter Stone pictures and stuff you see those are all other people's models. I also forgot to mention that I did judge at this show too which was hectic for me. I shouldn't have judged and showed as many models as I did. I thought I was going to be able to handle it a lot better, but I, I did not at all, so that was a fault on my part. I shouldn't have shown as many models because I was also judging, and it ended up being really hard for me to juggle all of those things. Anyway, let's continue on. Here are some of Donna's Peter Stones that were just really pretty. This was the OF Mini Division that I judged, and so you can see some of the little mini foals right there. Here's the OF Briar full class of one sort or another. Some people's models. And then here's my first placing of the day was this little foal. I was really happy that he did well and actually got a first, which I was really surprised about. Here's some Peter Stone minis, which I did not judge. I only judged the OF Briar other minis. Some more Peter Stones. This was the Novice Division. There's some more Peter Stone minis some other people's models. There's a really pretty little uh, Peter Stone's pebble. And there's my models. I actually don't have a picture of my table for some reason on here, which I'm really surprised about. I guess I just totally forgot to take a picture of my table. But those are my three ethereals that I showed this time around. And my fire did not place. He is never placed. I've showed him several times now. I've showed him as a couple different breeds. He just never places, and I have no idea why. I, I really don't know. He just has never placed for me, and I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to give up on him. I'm not going to probably show him again, because he's just never placed for me. It's very strange. And yet, these two guys have placed for me, so I'm just like, I, I don't know why my fire does not place. This is the other foal I showed that ended up placing. This is Rough Diamond. I've showed him for quite a long time now, and he always seems to kind of place. He never places super well usually, but he does get placings, so I keep showing him. He is a really cute little, little briar foal. Here's the Youth Division again. This is, I believe, like a Light Breeds class of some sort. And then this is the Show Benefit model for 2017, because this show was actually qualified for the Briar Benefit Show Program thing. And so this pretty guy, uh, whose name is like Reno or something, I can't think of it what it is right now. And this was like the other raffle models that were at the show. And then you'll see later that the spirit guy is the one I actually won. And I actually did like a review video on him. And then here's just the overall ribbons for the show. Then here was the Foles callback class. And so I have my one little guy right there. You can see everybody else's foals there. Lots and lots of little cute little foalies. This was the section champion for the foals was this glossy Zenyetta's colt. Here is the Arabian class for the OF Briar others and my horse was actually over here on the end the ganache. And then there he is and I was really happy and surprised that he got a first of the class there for breed. I also forgot to mention, I'm really sorry, I'm just completely forgetting everything, but this show was also double judged for breed and collectability. So I forgot to mention that, so that's why some horses have two ribbons with them. It's because it was a double judged show, which I personally really like, because it's just more fun to have more chances to get ribbons, especially when you want to show 
rarer models that might not normally do as well in breed and things like that. This was the Arabian Mares class and then uh, it kind of leaked over. There was quite a bit of Arabian Mares I think so we leaked over onto the Peter Stone table there. Yeah here's the other other Arabians that were up on the other part of the table there. And then this isn't my model but she is just so pretty I had to take a picture of her. This is the volunteer model for Briarfest 2017. Here's the novice division with a, a stock horse class it looks like going on here. And then here is my beautiful Yasmin. I love this horse so much. I think she is so gorgeous. And I'm really, really happy that she placed. This was her first time showing, and so I was happy to see her place at her very first show. And then we have some part breed Arabians here. And then this is my Enchanted. I love this guy, and it surprises me how well he seems to do at shows. I really love him, and I was super happy to see him place in both breed and collectability with second places in the part Arabian class. Here's the novice division again with some callbacks. Here's some Peter Stones. Here's the Missouri Foxtrotter class and I'm super surprised how well mine did. I mean there's only three horses as you can see but I was really surprised that my guy here. So Maverick here, this was his first time showing I believe. Yes it was his very first time showing and so I was super surprised that he did so well especially because I didn't really think he was nearly as collectible as the other two that were on the table but I am just super happy and surprised that he got two firsts on his very first show that is pretty awesome. Here we have the always stunning Champagne Wishes and I'm super happy she did so well. She's done well the last time I showed her I believed as well. I'm super super happy that she got a second in both collectability and breed. It was just super awesome. Here is the novice division again with some warm bloods. And then here is my blue note. I just love this guy to pieces. He is so pretty. I'm really happy he got a first in breed and then a third in collectability. Then once again here's the novice division. I, I think I took a lot of pictures of the novice division because my table was pretty close to it so I was able to get pictures a lot. But anyway here's more of the novice division models which they had. Th these guys had some really pretty models up there. Here's some Peter Stone minis. Then here were the, I believe these were some of the novice division tables. Shout out to you guys. I'm really sorry I'm blanking on people's names right now. It's been a while since that show. But here are some of the awesome horses these guys had. I love this little silver conga going on back here. I think that's really cute. And they also had some really pretty, look at those pretty Bollywood surprises. Super, super gorgeous. Look at all these pretty ponies. I like this little Othello conga going back here as well. Pretty nice. Some more pretty ponies. Some really nice glossy ones right there. And again, more ponies. Here is my Haute Couture. I love this guy so much. He is possibly one of my top favorite models. I just think he is so gorgeous. And I do have his like breed stuff blurred out. For, mo for most of my models I don't really care if you know what their breeds are or not. But there are some of them that it just took me so long to figure out their breeds that I kind of don't like to give them away too easily. But I will say this guy is a cross. This picture is the OF Briar Light Breeds callbacks. And so I'm pretty happy and excited that I actually had a few models up here. I had three. For a second I thought that Champagne Wishes was mine, but actually that was uh, someone else's. But there is my Blue Note, the Maverick, and my Ganache were up there. So that was pretty cool to have three horses up in the Light Breeds callback. And then I took a picture of Barry's really pretty old glossy, glossy chalky Pam here that got the section champ for the light breed collectability. And here's some novice horse ponies. Look at all those pretty ponies. There's a pretty Peter Stone. Another really pretty Peter Stone. I thought this guy was really neat looking. Thought he was super pretty. Some more Peter Stones. And then here was a Spanish class of one sort or another. I think these were the only four horses in there. And I was really surprised that my guy here, he actually got first for both collectability 
and breed, which really surprised me. I was not expecting him to do super great or anything at all, so I was really surprised. This guy does very well for me, surprisingly. Alright, now here's some fun class pictures. So the fun class was actually only supposed to run through lunch, but it ended up running through quite a big part of the rest of the day. So that was also why I was going crazy because I did not expect to have the fun class running at the same time as the division that I was judging and the OF Briar division that I was showing in. So that was also the reason why this show made me a little crazy that day. But anyway, it was really cool and I was really happy because the fun class was for animals and I just love animals and I love animal figures. I have so many. And like what I brought to show also was just like whatever I kind of had laying around. I probably would have brought a lot more if I had more time and energy to bring as much as I wanted to and also wasn't judging at the same time. By the way, there was like a lot of classes for the fun classes, which was really awesome. So here, as you can probably guess, was the dog class. And these four dogs right here are actually mine, these four in the front. So uh, the Great Dane here, actually I was really surprised that mine did as well as they did. I believe she did split the class though. She split it into like two different types of dogs, if I remember correctly. The Australian Shepherd didn't place, but the two Irish Setters did, which I was really surprised about. So I thought that was pretty cool. Here's just a little bird, little bird someone had up there on the show table I thought was cute. Here is, I believe this is Barry's uh, St. Bernard, really cool model. This was just a little China Cocker Spaniel, which I thought was really cool. And then there is a really cute black and white briar cat. Here is the bovine class, and then that little guy is mine. And surprisingly, my little guy actually got first place. I was really surprised about that. This is a Schleich Longhorn, Texas Longhorn Bull, by the way. I really love this model. I think it's really pretty. And then Terry, the judge, also really loved him. She was just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe how much in detail is in this little guy. The goats and the rams, that kind of animal uh, class. Here was, I think this was Barry's ram, really nice ram, and then my little goat, who I was surprised got uh, first, my little alpine goat here. There he is, he's really adorable. And then here were some callbacks, and I was really surprised that my little, oh well here's the reserve champion, I don't know whose uh, cow this is, but this is a really cute cow. My little bull here, my little longhorn, Texas longhorn bull, actually won the livestock, I believe it was like livestock division here and so I actually got another little bovine guy but uh, I actually did a review on him and like unboxing which you can see at the end of this video. I'll put a link to that video where I show that guy. There were a bunch of other like animal classes and stuff too so I was able to bring my Schleich wolf and I showed my Schleich wolf and my Schleich alligator here who I really love and again Terry was also just like oh my gosh the detail on this guy is incredible. There we go. There's a better picture of him. So there's my little crocodile and I just think he is so cool looking and so it was super fun that he got a first place there. And there's my sh little Schleich wolf again. Back to OF Briar. Here is Water who I just absolutely love of course. And so he does place well for me sometimes and this time he did not place in breed which kind of surprised me. But he did place well in collectability which did surprise me. Even though I know the Thero models are not technically like the best showers usually, I still just love them and bringing them to show anyway. And then here are some birds. So there were some cute birds. This was Barry's really neat uh, cockatoo cookie jar, which was just really pretty. And then here are some other animals, just like a whole bunch of different animals, which is pretty cool to see all these different fun animals. Like, there's a weird worm thing, which is very interesting. Back to the OF Briars. Here is Moon Dancer, who I absolutely love. I love this mold, as I've probably mentioned a thousand times in other videos already. But I really love this mold. I love this model. This was her first time showing, and I was really happily surprised to see that she placed. And she got a third in collectability, and third in breed and a second in collectability, which I was really, again, like super surprised and happy by. Here's the fun classes again, and then I believe she like kind of split it up so it was just my two marine mammals in like a separate marine class kind of thing. And so my little bottlenose dolphin and my little seal got a first and second there. 
And then in the bird bird division stuff, my little, uh, I think this is a safari, it's my little safari animal there, got a second. Here is a beautiful Andalusian stallion. This is the original Andalusian stallion, the moody Andalusian stallion. He is super gorgeous. He doesn't show up really well in pictures, but he has like gorgeous, like really nice shading and dapples and stuff. Anyway, I was happy that he placed. I was super excited to see that guy's second in breed and a fourth in collectability, so that was pretty cool. Here's some more fun classes. Now, actually, this guy, uh, he was in a class, and I guess I didn't take a picture of his class, but this is my elk, actually. And I actually showed him, like, with his box, too, because I have his original, like, old 1980s, 1970s, maybe? I can't remember. But he has a really cool old box that I uh, also had with him. Anyway, so I was really surprised that he got first. And then my, uh, I'll show you her again, but this is a Popo lioness who also has a first place, and then my alligator that I showed you earlier, or crocodile, sorry. But yeah, this is like the callbacks for those guys. And then I was super surprised at the end of the show, my elk and my, my longhorn, a uh, Texas longhorn, both ended up getting a overall champion and overall reserve champion for the fun classes, which I was just extremely surprised by. So crazy, I really did not expect that, and that was just super cool and super fun. I'm just super happy about that because, like I said, I love animals, I love my animal figures, and I always am kind of like sad that I can't ever show them because most Briar, my most model horse shows don't have classes for those because Namsha doesn't really recognize them. Then here, this isn't my model, but I just thought he was really pretty. This is like one of the sports divisions. There's a, uh, he's, a he's a copper fox. Look at that eye, that's a crazy detailed eye. So I was really surprised to see the copper fox horses in person and they are really nicely done. They look more like customs than they do like original finished models, which is pretty cool. Here's some pretty Peter Stones. Here's uh, one of the warm blood classes. Which Here is my glossy once upon a time. He does pretty consistently well for me. Uh, of course, there's sometimes he like doesn't place at all, but then this was one of the times I was super surprised that he placed uh, first in breed and second in collectability and I was just super excited about that. This warm blood class by the way I believe they did split it up because there were so many they decided to split it up. I always show this guy as I believe an Appaloosa sport horse but I kind of changed it up this time and I can't remember what his breed is and I can't read what his breed doc thing I did, I did there is. But I kind of mixed it up a little bit because the past couple times I showed him he wasn't doing as well. And so I figured I'd try something a little different. And I was super surprised that he did as well as he did. Here is the novice division. I think these are like, I don't know what classes are going up there right now. But these were the customs that uh, everyone had. And so I have some pictures of those. Sharon, who was judging the... Uh, novice division like told everyone to check these customs out because they were pretty amazing novice customs like I was pretty amazed too like look at this guy that's an amazing little guy right there and I love this etchy bouncer he's really cute so yeah these were some great great models this rainbow one was really pretty these are some great models these people had and I like this one's color is super rich just like amazing customs and so I took pictures of those guys Here's another warm blood division, which was so big it took up uh, two tables here. These classes are probably not even considered that big for other regions necessarily, but the area that I show in, it's pretty small. Like we don't have a huge amount of people in my region that show a whole lot. So it's, it's kind of nothing compared to like the other shows in different regions that are really huge with tons and tons of models in each class. But for us, these are pretty big classes. So I believe this one was also split up somehow. And I believe I did not place in this division. And the model that I showed is uh, right there. That is uh, Hera. Now, there was a lot of really pretty warm bloods in this class. Super, super pretty models. And like, what do we have here? There's like a glossy Hanoverian of some sort right here, which is super gorgeous. And then there's uh, some of the other warm bloods there. And then here was the Novice Division callbacks, I believe. 
So this guy here, this is Royal Kevlar. I've been showing him for quite a while. And he is a limited edition of 750. He is kind of hard to find. Like I hardly ever see this guy. And what's interesting is I normally used to show him as a Westfallen. I'm, I'm, I might be pronouncing that wrong because I know Germans pronounce the W a little different than we do in English. But it, I used to show him like as a Westfallen and he's placed a couple of times here and there but he kind of stopped placing altogether and so I kind of stopped showing him. So then I decided that I was going to go ahead and take a shot at showing him as something else. And so I did, and I was really surprised that he, he placed well. And then he also got a fourth for collectability, so that's really cool. I'm really excited about that. And then here is Brishen. I I love this guy. He's wonky, but I love him. And as you can see, he like he did well. He got he got third in collectability and breed. So I was kind of surprised that he did as well as he did because he is kind of just a wonky mold. But he, he does place, and so I kind of just keep showing him because I think he is just really pretty. And then these guys I actually forgot to take a picture of in the fun classes, but these are more like fun class animals. There's my Popo Lioness, a Schleich Hyena, and a Schleich Cheetah. And then here is my Glossy Aquile Surprise from Briarfest 2015. I love this guy. He is so gorgeous. I'm in a way surprised he doesn't place better than he does because I think... I don't know why he doesn't place better, honestly. Uh, no matter, he still places most of the time, so I, I, I should not complain at all. But uh, he got a first, I mean, at the second, wow, I'm losing it. He got a second in collectability, which is really cool, and then he also got a fourth in breed. Now here is the callbacks for the sports breeds. And then here was uh, the two champion and reserve champions for this division. And then here were the collectability champ in reserves for this uh, sport division. And now on to the stock breeds classes. Here is my beautiful constellation. She consistently places well along with my Rushmore. They both just, either it's one or the other. One of them places really well and then like the other one doesn't. It's a really weird thing, but it happens like at every show. One does well, the other one doesn't. I don't know why. And because of that reason, I always have to bring both of them to show because one will do well and one won't. And I just don't know which one it'll be. And this guy I've shown a couple of times before and I think he is so gorgeous, this model. I keep showing him as different breeds. He hasn't placed at all. And so he finally got a fourth place for collectability. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm happy with that. I'm going to retire him now from showing for a while. But I finally got one ribbon for him, and for some reason I just really wanted him to place somewhere, somehow. So he finally did, and so that makes me happy, and so now I probably will take him out of my show string for a while. This guy, I was super shocked about placing. This is the Bollywood Surprise model, which I got it over the, I got in the summer. I did not go to Briarfest in 2017, but I did buy this guy from someone because I just absolutely love him. He is so gorgeous. And so I was super duper surprised that he got a fourth in collectability and he also got a second in breed. This is another one I'm super surprised about. Also forgot to mention, this was his first time showing. This was also her first time showing and I was just like super shocked that she got a first in collectability and a second in breed. I'm just amazed. I couldn't believe that she did as well as she did. Here is Canarita. I love this guy. I kind of took him out of my show string briefly because I I don't know why. He just kind of kind of stopped placing kind of and I was like, eh, I'm going to take you out for a little while and replace you with someone else. So I decided to bring him back and he was kind of a last minute decision for me on showing him again. And I'm really glad I did though because he got a first in breed which is really awesome. Now this isn't my model but I was just surprised to see it here so I had to show it. This is the early bird raffle model for Briarfest. So there's only three of this model made and one of them was there at the show which was just really cool to see. Here are some gorgeous Peter Stones. There's the Peter Stone unicorn. Really gorgeous. Super pretty. Here's my Shannon Dell. This is his second time showing I believe. His first time showing, he actually got a first hit, which was really awesome. And then this time he got a second, so can't complain. Pretty cool. This is uh, Versailles. I think that's how you pronounce her name. 
I don't know why I went through like a phase where I was deciding to sell her and then she just keeps placing and so I just keep saying you know what I'm keeping you and I'm showing you because you just keep placing constantly and so she got a first in breed and a fourth in collectability there this is uh, technically the rarest model in my collection besides like a couple like one or two Peter Stones I might have that are like less than this number made but I kind of don't count Peter Stones when thinking of like what model I have is the rarest but anyway, this is the Glossy Simba Celebration model from Briarfest, one of 40. I love this guy and he just tends to show really well for me because he is pretty rare and I still can't believe that I own him. He is just amazing. So he got a first in collectability and a second in breed. I was very happy and excited. Now this was the Chalky and Pearly division, which I was surprised there were only three horses in there and two of them are mine. So both of mine did not, uh, neither of mine got the first place. I think it was one of Barry's horses that got it first. This is my little Pearly. And the, this guy's that's actually his first time showing. This is my chalky jumping, uh, stonewall jumping horse. On to some ponies. Here is Chanel. She sometimes does well for me, sometimes she does not. This time she did well and she placed. So this was kind of surprising, but my mini horse here was the only one in the miniature horse class, so he automatically, or she, I'm sorry, automatically got first and second. Now, uh, there was only a few donkeys in the donkey class, and one of which was mine, and that was this little guy. I love this little guy so much. He is so cute. He has done uh, consistently pretty well for me in the show ring as well. So he got a third in collectability and a second in breed. This is my Caves of the Socks. She got a second, which I was surprised about, I think. I can't remember what other models were in her class. But I was happily surprised that uh, she did well. Here is Kimbia. Now, it's kind of funny because I used to show, like, a lot of... I sometimes showed a lot of decorator models. They never really placed. And so now it's gotten to the point where I don't really show any other decorators except for Kimbia. He is just the only other decorator I tend to bring to shows. I'm happy he got a third place so that that's cool. This is Conquistador the connoisseur and he surprises me because I really don't expect him to place at all because he is not in the greatest shape. He has two flaws, technically three. One you can't really see though but the other two you can kind of see. He has two flaws that really need repaired and I just don't feel confident enough in trying to repair it myself and I just have not had the chance to like send him to someone to repair him. But he still places though I keep bringing him. So he got a second in collectability and a fourth in breed which I'm, I'm really happy about and I feel like once he gets fixed up he might actually do a little better maybe even in the show ring. Here are my two zebras. I am the only person in my show region I think that shows OF Briar other zebras. <laughs> I swear I really am. Every time I go to a show pretty much I am the only one that has a zebra. Besides like when it comes to like the little mini division there, there's usually a few Schleich zebras then but as for like OF Briar bigger horses I'm the only one that shows the OF Briar zebras. So these guys they win by default all the time but I thought it was interesting that my other my uh, safari zebra actually got a higher placing in breed which uh, I just found interesting because before he usually gets like second place next to the briar zebra but this time he actually got a first place in breed which I thought was really cool. Here's the charcoal class. I'm pretty sure these were the only two models that showed. There's my guy. I'm pretty sure he got second. We'll see the picture of that in a minute. This little girl, I think, was also, there was only one other horse in the class, and so she ended up getting the remaining places. So this is Black Hand. I love this model. And there's her, uh, there's her placings, which, I mean, you know, if you can get more placings, that's always cool. There's my charcoal, uh, stallion guy. So, yeah, he got a, uh, he got a second, because he was the only other horse in the class. But, oh well, that's still pretty cool. This guy is uh, actually not a briar. This is an OF uh, North Light resin. And I'm not going to get into it, but there is controversy on whether or not this horse is technically allowed to show in OF briar or other divisions. Like, it's complicated. I'm not going to get into it at all. But he ended up getting a first in collectability and a second in uh, whatever else. 
There was like only maybe one or two other models in the class though. Now I was really excited that my Bramble did place. I can't remember if there were a lot of other models in her class or not. I showed her once or twice before and it's kind of made me bummed out that she never placed. So I actually updated her like reference sheet for her breed and her color and so I updated those and made them really nice. And so um, I, I'd like to think that maybe that helped play in a part of her actually placing this time. So there she is, and I'm I actually not sure what she placed. I don't remember if she placed in collectability or breed, because it, it doesn't say on this picture. But she placed somehow, and I, I love her. And actually, that that is all, guys. That is all. I'm really sorry. This video is probably going to be really long. I'm very sorry. I just tend to talk way too much when it comes to these kinds of videos. You can let me know in the comments like what specific things about live shows you'd like me to do more videos on. I might not be able to get to them right away, but I still like to know what you guys would like to see so that as I go along I can hopefully get some more fun videos out there for you guys. So that is that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a super duper awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone! Thank you.